Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Environment Canada meteorologist David Jones with an update on the storm I've been telling you about all week long. Let's take a closer look. Let's look at the future clouds first. This animation begins at 1600 hours today or 4 p.m. Sidebar here, look at the area under the arrow. Those southward pointing streaks are a signal of lake effect snow. Bitterly cold Arctic air blowing southward picks up moisture from the relatively warm waters of the Gulf of Alaska. Clouds form and snow streamers develop. This process might become important over coastal BC at times during the next 10 days. As I launch the movie, keep your eyes in the Gulf and watch as the final weather system moves from west to east and opens the door for the Arctic air. In the final part of the animation, ending Sunday morning, you get a sense of the swirling Arctic vortex that is gaining momentum and chugging southward. At 4 p.m. today, there's a cold front across the central coast. Moving forward in time to Saturday at 2200 hours or 10 p.m., that door opening system is now stretched across the north coast. Let's just back up here for a minute. This movie will show the type of precipitation expected. It's a little bit different, but the purple shades represent snow, the green shades rain, and the splotchy red patches represent freezing rain according to the computer model. As I roll the animation from 4 p.m. today through Saturday at 10 p.m., watch the interior. The red splotches are hints of freezing rain. Not widespread, mind you, but we think there is potential tonight from about Clinton to Prince George, and there may be 5 to 10 centimeters of snow through there tonight as well. Okay, let's go back to 10 p.m. Saturday. Remember, that's when the weather starts to get interesting. As I run the movie, you can clearly see the storm intensifying. That's indicated by the increasing and tightening black isobars. By Sunday at 2200 or 10 p.m., a fairly intense low is sitting somewhere in the southern interior. The Arctic front is being drawn southward, and snow is likely near and along the Arctic front. The tight packing of the isobars suggests strong winds, so snow with blowing snow and near zero visibility is likely. Further south near the low, conditions have become quite messy by this point. Wet snow with accumulations are likely Sunday across the southern interior. The snow will be mixed with or entirely rain in some areas, but will change to snow everywhere as the colder air seeps in. A variety of warnings or a winter storm watch are quite likely for Sunday. As we move toward Monday at 10 p.m., clearing from the north occurs and the Arctic front moves offshore. High pressure over the interior and lower pressure along the coast combine to create a strong pressure gradient along the coast highlighted in white. The strong pressure gradient will persist through Wednesday, so the chilly outflow winds with air temperatures well below freezing will cause significant wind chills, especially in the eastern Fraser Valley and Hope. The clearing might not be as fast or as clean as this animation suggests. Arctic air and residual moisture may combine to create brief blizzards as the Arctic air emerges through the coastal valleys and inlets. The cool air between the last Pacific front and the Arctic front sometimes creates conditions where rain, when it intensifies, causes local cooling and a phase change from rain to snow with local accumulations. You'll want to follow the forecast closely this weekend and Monday. Changes in the weather and the forecast may be rapid. Here's the timeline. On Saturday, the last of the Pacific storms crosses the north coast. On Sunday, the Arctic front blasts through the central interior. On Monday, the Arctic air reaches the southern interior in the morning and the south coast in the afternoon. From Tuesday to Friday, everybody is sunny, but cold weather will prevail, perhaps through next weekend as well. And here's a crude first guess at total snowfall amounts from late Saturday through Monday morning. For Haida Gwaii, all of 5 centimeters. On the north and central coasts, roughly 10 to 20. Moving inland to the Bulkley Valley and points north, 5 to 10 centimeters, a little drier there. And then the snow starts to pick up along the Rockies, from the Peace Country down through Mackenzie, Yellowhead, Williston, McGregor, anywhere from 15 to 25 centimeters. Heaviest hit could be the southeast corner of the province. The Columbia's Kootenays, 15 to 30 centimeters there. And from the Okanagan through to Kamloops, anywhere from 5 to 20 centimeters is possible. On the south coast, let's call it 5 to 15 as a first 
guess here. Now, don't hang any forecasters on these numbers. It's early, and the snow is going to be extremely variable. I can tell you that right now. So expect the forecast amounts to change, and we will get caught, I'm sure, in some areas. That's it for today's Heads Up. Thanks very much. Have a good weekend. Do your best to avoid the weather, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.